Hey, Eric, welcome to Restore Your Everyday. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us today. Um, I have to tell you, I am really excited to learn more about this app that your company has going for everyone. So tell us a little bit about the Pacer Health community. Hi, Cozy. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, long time listener, first time caller, I guess is way how to put that. Uh, so yeah, so, um, so I'm, I'm happy to present to you and uh, some of your watchers here that uh, I work for Pacer Health, which is a creator of the Pacer Pedometer and Fitness Tracking app. It's the number one downloaded walking app uh, in the app stores for both I for Android and iOS. Uh, we're about seven years old, and I think to date we've pretty close to 80 million downloads worldwide. So we have, we have millions of users all around the world, and really... Uh, this app was designed for the everyday person. We know that there's a lot of uh, fitness tracking apps out there at this time um, for all shapes and sizes, especially for people who are endurance training. Uh, we're really built from the interface and really at its core for people who, one, just need to really think about just being more active on a daily basis in a nice, simple way to track everything they're doing, but also have supportive communities around the world that can support you in your, in your fitness goals. Wow. So to say that this has become a global phenomenon would be kind of the understatement of the year. 80, 80 million. That's well, amazing. Yes. And in the app world, we, I'd say we're, we humbly accept uh, our position and we're continuously trying. Oh, I'd be like, those are bragging rights. Those are, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> we, we brag when it's appropriate, but you know, to have, have a platform like that, it, it keeps us busy. Absolutely. So we've been talking about this month and I've been giving examples to folks about how in my own private clinic, I work with my patients to get them as independent as possible on their prosthesis. So I do a lot of strengthening, coordination, balance, gait mechanics, but there are so many times with my patients that I'm just working the entire hour with them one-on-one -on -one, and time just kind of flies by. So my patients end up with the ability to walk very well, but they're winded after about 150 feet because of the energy demands of using a prosthesis. Sure. Um, so in my clinic, I have the luxury of creating a phase two program for my patients to directly address their endurance. But there are so many folks out there that they don't have access to a clinic who offers these kind of services, or even in the case of my own clinic, some of my patients live so far away that they can only come once a week, which is not enough to mm -hmm. make their way into endurance. So I'm really excited to hear about this app because I think this is going to be a great bridge for folks who are independent and safe and confident with their prosthesis and now they're just looking to get that endurance going so to open up fitness for other other events um i'm not a tech savvy person anybody who's seen my cozy talks facebook show or knows me personally knows this um but as you know i started looking through the app and i'm like this is really easy to maneuver so for me to say that that says something so i'm done talking I'm going to let you, um, I think you're going to be able to throw up the screen for us so folks can see yep. the main menu of the app um, and some sure. of the features. Sure. So let's, 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 let's visit some of these features. So, and just to let your, uh, just let your viewers know, uh -huh. we are looking at the iOS version of okay. uh, Pacer. So if everybody can see that clearly, Pacer, yep. you can see right in the middle of the screen there, it's a nice blue square with the white tennis shoe. Uh, Pacer pedometer walking app in the app stores if you find it. So if you just tap that open, kind of what we discussed before, we really try to create a real clean and simple interface right as you open the app. Um, so the most important pieces of information that you see is right in the middle of the screen. We know that steps is, is a measure for about everyday person, how, how active you are. Uh, you know. The World Health Organization says we need to get 10,000 steps on a daily basis for true health, which I think equates to about four miles. Mm -hmm. But you know, depending on where you are in your recovery mode or where you are in your activity mode, you can always do less than that and build up to that. But once again, 10,000 steps is, 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 a, is a big goal, it's a lofty goal. So you always have your step count and Pacer is a phone-based app. So you know, you want to make sure that you have your phone with you and it does connect to some wearables, but having your phone with you is important. So it will show some basic like steps, activity time, calories burned, and then your total distance overall. And then you can see below that, there's a little activity graph that shows up in a bar graph that basically shows you how you're moving throughout the day. So oh, wow. as you, as you create activity, you'll be able to see it almost like a little graph curve of when you're active during the day to kind of 
you know, when you're, when you're coming up with goals and things like that. So this is the home screen. You always kind of start here. Uh, some of the three few things that we like to highlight is this is your home screen. We also have this great feature called GPS. So one of the things we do because we're a social app is you can actually, and I'm just going to tap that real quick here. Okay. You can actually create some goals uh, for yourself or create some routes for yourself as well saying, hey, I'm going to walk around the block or I'm going to make some public routes that I can share with some people in the Pacer universe or I'm going to keep it to myself and I can kind of retrace that. So when you have a place that's kind of walk friendly or maybe some interesting places around that, you can actually create routes just by going to GPS, clicking record down here, going about your business uh -huh. and then basically saving it. And the system is really intuitive. It, it wants you to create a route that can actually be shared with everybody uh, if you'd like to do that. So once you're finished and you tap pause here, it will create a system like this. So if you just tap roots right there, what, what the Pacer app does do, when you do open the Pacer app, it will see where you are in the world by your GPS location. And if any Pacers, I mean, we call the Pacers as a Pacer user, if they've created any routes around you that you can access, they will show up in this route screen show how far the distance away is and who created it. And then basically it's up to you to choose one of these. And if you've made your own, you'll be able to see it in here as well. So for example, if we just kind of look down here a little bit and we want to pick, for example, a park down here for the High Banks trails. So if we just tap that, it will show you the map up there. If you've taken any photos, which you're allowed to do, you can create, you know, take a photo for anything interesting along the trail. Yes. And then it also provides a lot of information about itself as far as distance, elevation, what type of um, difficulty is it, easy, medium, or hard. That's and then a the, one right there. Yeah. And then, you know, if there are any photos, you'll see them there. It's almost a little photo gallery, a little bit of elevation charts. You really know what you're going to be up with mm -hmm. as far as if it's going to be hills or not. And then the user also can, can add features and obstacles that helps people decide whether they can go there or not, who they can go there with, whether it's by themselves, with their family members, with an animal, all those type of stuff. And, you, and those are all shareable or those can remain product, uh, private as well. So that's something that we really like to feature there. Uh, another feature that we have is right next to that is workouts. Uh -huh. So we've, we've broken down these kind of video workouts into categories. So if you want to choose walking outside, uh, you can see just basic stretching, you know, everything kind of linked to basic health and wellness from a physical as aspect, you can do that. Below that, you can see, and, and notice the P here, we do have a, a free version with a lot of features, but we do have an upgradable version um, that you can pay for in the app store that gives you access to uh, some walking for weight loss. You can see this, some other fitness walking, toning, and based on different levels of how strenuous you want it to be. So just, those are just kind of the, the three from the home that are most accessible and really used by Pacers worldwide. Wow. So just kind of piggy banking off your comment about the weight loss programs that are available. Um, you know, there's so many of my patients out there that between the time they had their amputation and when they're using their leg, they've had a lot of weight gain. And in some cases, it's been so much weight gain that it's actually prevented them from using a prosthesis. And it's kind of a catch-22 where in order to lose weight, they have to get moving but they can't use the leg yet. Um, and I discovered on this app, there is a wheelchair uh, component. Um, I don't know if we can call that up on the screen, uh, but basically yeah, sure. it provides wheelchair friendly routes. And the reason why I really love this is there are so many of my patients that have, that I've put them kind of on a weight loss endurance program with the use of their wheelchair for their cardio, cardio pulmonary exercise. Um, and obviously a big obstacle to this is my patients finding where they can go to practice, um, where it's going to be wheelchair accessible, wheelchair friendly. So I was really, really happy to see this on the screen um, because I know that yeah, thanks. opened the door. Yeah, time. thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. So just basically how I found that is um, just to show from the home screen. So you can see just to the bottom right corner of your pedometer, there's a little map icon there. So if you tap that, that will give you access to routes. This is both for Android and iOS. Okay. And you can see here just the, the categories of different types of routes here. You just need to scroll to the right here. Right. And the furthest right you can see is wheelchair friendly. So if any users have created a route and actually made it wheelchair friendly, if you tap that, it will actually show you uh, routes 
once again, connected by your GPS location that will show there around there that will be uh, friendly for you. So you can see here, a lot of the routes around me right now are actually quite Wilshire friendly. Now, that, that one just made me go, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Um, now, there's also, you mentioned a social component to this app. Can you give us a little bit more information on that? Yeah, sure. And like, like I said, because we are fortunate enough to have millions of users worldwide, and we understand that even though individual fitness goals are uh, something everyone focuses on on their own, it, we are social creatures by nature. So it's important that whatever we're doing in goal setting, whether we have people who we've, we've joined Pacer together, or you can just connect with some people in the Pacer universe, that's a big part of our, our feature here. So from the feed menu down here at the bottom, if you tap that, um, you have access to almost like any other social media platform that you have right now. So when you're, when you're playing around in the Pacer universe, uh, you can either you know, just join some challenges here. So the other menu in the bottom right corner is explore. Okay. And there's actually some events that are created every month that anybody can join. It's really up to anyone. These are free as well. So you can see here, the system allows you to do some smaller ones and actually invite some other Pacers around you. And we also have some global events from people around the world. And you can see we have a, a monthly step challenge and a monthly distance challenge, which has thousands of people involved. So you can join them as well and interact with them inside those challenges. But once you start connecting with people in the Pacer universe, you can actually follow them in social media. So I'm gonna go back to the feed and you can see here, all these things are public. We have some virtual badges as well. Mm -hmm. If anybody has achieved those badges, you'll see that and you can like and comment on them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, if you join any of these races, you can do that. So you can also, you know, you can follow people in the Pacer universe. You can also just follow, you know, who's being very active uh, around the world. And if they've got a lot of likes and comments, you can actually view that. So you can just see there's just people worldwide who are just sharing their experience. Yeah, I mean, in all shapes and sizes too. Some people are just really active in general and some are really just saying, hey, I'm out there, first steps, I need to lose some weight. Um, I need to be more mindful of my health and you have that there. Uh, and then the other thing you can do to help find, and this is really what I wanted to feature for people saying, how do I find other people like me in this app who might be with some similar fitness goals? So from this feed, you can see in the top right corner here, there's this little calendar button here. So if you tap that calendar button, you can see here, it's got a calendar and you can add some positive helmet, some habits here. So you can actually tap the calendar up there, add a habit. And then basically you can search through some categories of what other pacers around the world are doing. So just for example, if I say, hey, I wanna lose weight, I'm just gonna tap lose weight there. And you can see, it can be as simple as, hey, I'm just going to be more mindful to weigh in on a daily basis. The first, you know, the first thing, the goal setting, and then doing that is, how am I going to measure this? How am I going to measure this progress? And then basically, you have all these different parameters of, you know, I'm just going to walk more every day. I'm going to take an X number of steps every day. I'm going to drink more water. And if you want to add one yourself, you can go back there and actually search for other goals or create a new one. So for example, say, hey, you know what? I'm just getting started. I'm gonna walk 1,000 steps per day, right? And you can see right here, there's about 66 people in this. You can say, awesome. I just wanna start doing that. So I'm gonna achieve this goal and I'm gonna share it with other people. So if I add it, you can set a weekly tar target. You can add a reminder. So the Pacer app will remind you on your phone, like, hey, you need to get out there and get your 1,000 steps. Um, you can certainly share it with the Pacer universe, but if you'd like to keep it private first, all you should do is just tap that private button switch that on and it's just you. And when you're ready to share it with other people, you can basically turn that off. Wow. Yep. Very interactive. This has been an amazing, amazing exploration here. So here comes the really cool part, folks. Pacer Health has teamed up with Restore Your Everyday and Freedom Innovations to sponsor the first 30 people who sign up for the premium membership for free. So guys, if you're interested in downloading this app, you can go to the Freedom Innovations Facebook page and we're gonna have the information there for the sponsorship for those first 30 people. Um, and also, Eric, how can they also access this from the App Store? They would look up. Yep, so if you open up, whether uh, Android or iOS, go to Google Play or the Apple Store, just go to search and go for Pacer Walking App. You should be able to find our little blue square with the white shoe right in there um, and just download and go. I mean, really, you're, you're up to do that. Like, we just got some great features just from the beginning.
Sounds good. All right, folks. So there you have it. There's another wonderful tool to get you back to returning to fitness. Eric, thank you so much for your time. And Thanks I for having me, Cozy. Let's even further. <laughs> All right.